Okay, well, I'm on Montegan Island. It's just basically a sand island. Took me about 20 minutes to get out here by boat, by a little boat. Um, 600 pesos for the boat. As far as probably four people if you want to, but it's just me. So 600 pesos and then a 20 peso um, island conservation charge. We should have all the islands. We should have it on our, I don't know if they do or not in New Zealand, we should bring it all tourists so they should pay to visit uh, and use the island, you know. Wow, well, keeps dying as sharp as a coral. Try and get this powder white sand. This is kind of like talcum powder. That's uh, really nice. So it's going to take me, they said, 20 minutes to walk around it. I'm picking more like two hours because um, I'm slow and broken. And the stones are sharp, and I left my shoes in the boat. So, mind you, they'd only fill up with sand. <laughs> Uh, there's a little beach, beach shelter place, I suppose. And there's some pretty illegal looking fishing nets there, in my eyes. But uh, I'm getting burnt to shit today. I was renting a little motorbike, a little 125 Honda automatic scooter. It was kind of fun because um, I haven't ridden anything so little and light and um, Having my feet out in front of me like that, with uh, side by side, was pretty weird, and not having any f foot brake or gears to just to go back getting used to from what I've been used to riding in my time. But it's kind of fun. Everybody toots at you. You think you're doing something wrong, but they're just they can see that you're foreign and a tourist or whatever, so they're it's their way of saying hello. I get all pissed off. What <laughs> the fuck's up with you? <laughs> How come you're all tooting at me? But uh, yeah, that's what it's all about. It's kind of welcoming you, I suppose. There's a lot of shit on the beach, there's driftwood up. But I mean, it's a beach, you know. Stuff gets washed up. Some kind of uh, structure. Looks like a wrecked boat. Little huts. This is why they don't bring you to this part of the island, because around here, because it looks like shit. It's, um,. Yeah, no, it's just like a big rubbish tip around here. I don't think there's anybody living here on this island. It's too small. And I'm sure when, when the sea's big, the waves just come crashing right in and take all this stuff and pile it in up against the... So none of the huts are built to last because they wouldn't really stand a chance. If they tidied it up, it'd be a good place to do Survivor. There's nothing here. Apparently there's a lot of sea turtles and it's all protected. Um, marine protected area. So lots of fish and sea turtles and stuff. Although we can't not provide a snorkel today because the tides are moving fast and strong and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, that's about as far as I think I can go without encroaching into somebody's spot. Wow, this place is just wrecked. Looks like there's been a big fire here or something. Anyway, I didn't see any sight now. Clock it on to again.